Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and I'm here with a review of Knight vs. Giant, the broken Excalibur on Xbox. Now, this released onto the store on the 5th of October 2023, developed by Gamber Studios and published by P-Cube, who were really kind to send me a copy to play it and to do this video review. So, huge thank you to them for the free copy. Now, this is an Xbox Series X and S game. It is available on other platforms like PC and console as well, but it isn't playable on Xbox One. Now, this is a really fun, like, action roguelite game game and i like this one a lot not only because the gameplay was quick fast and really really smooth but i love the setting and the characters now i love like king arthur the holy grail merlin all that sort of stuff camelot so getting to play a sort of roguelike where you get to do that was awesome so Basically, the story of the game is uh, you're on the quest to save the Holy Grail and all the Knights of the Round Table and King Arthur accidentally unleash this giant void giant onto Camelot. Now, King Arthur sets off into battle with the Knights and they get absolutely wrecked and basically are all killed. But luckily... Merlin is on the case. He uses a magic spell, transports the Void Giant back to the Astral Dimension, which is basically where it came from. However, for some reason, Merlin's getting on a bit. His spells aren't what they used to be. And the entire Kingdom of Camelot is also transported into the Astral Dimension. Now, he only has the power to revive one knight, so, Merlin resurrects Arthur, obviously. Now, he asks him, obviously, to, to, for help to defeat this sort of void giant. And basically, the way to do it is to defeat three colossal aspects of its soul. Now, Arthur is not alone on this journey. Obviously, he's the last knight left. He gets resurrected by Merlin. There are other citizens of Camelot that have been scattered across the dimension. So on your travels, you will rescue them and they will be transported back to like Camelot Central. And that's not it. You have Excalibur. Unfortunately, it is broken, but you can channel the powers of it to use the sort of abilities and powers of the other fallen Knights of the Round Table. Now, when you start the game, you basically get a choice of two of the knights. One of them is more close range. The other one is more sort of uh, projectile based. And they both have different abilities that you can use as well. As you progress through the game, you'll unlock more and more of them and give you more variety in the sort of attacks, weapons and abilities you can use. Now, that's the story out of the way. The gameplay itself is a very sort of hack and slash dodge fest tons of enemies on screen working your way through a variety of environments working your way up to bosses to defeat them now if you die on a run you start again and you work your way through again however you do get like permanent buffs as you progress so every time you do a new run you should be slightly more powerful now i enjoyed the ability to switch between the different knights like weapon and combat styles and ability styles because it let med you could sort of mix it up a little bit while you're sort of mid game which was nice like in between different sections when you're in a game as well you also like find round tables that you can use to enhance your abilities so you get to pick from like three different options some of these can be passive or active abilities, and I believe there's over 100 different ones that you can eventually find and unlock. On top of that, there are also statues of the knight that you've chosen to sort of wield the ability of, which also give you like special buffs to the weapon. So if you pick the projectile, say, guy right at the beginning of the game, and you find his statue on a run, you can maybe 
do more damage or it'll also fire projectiles like horizontally as well as straight ahead and stuff like that so it lets you mix and match even more styles of play as you're progressing now you can also rescue camelot civilians while you're on your mission now this basically becomes a little sort of town building simulation it's, it's very very light but basically you'll bring people back you'll be able to rebuild shops and like um amenities you can rebuild some of the sort of environment to make it look nicer and give you perks and then you can use money that you've collected on runs to spend in the stores for improvements gems stuff like that to basically give you a better chance of completing the next run now one thing i do like about it like a lot of other roguelikes out there the sort of areas are procedurally generated so every time you play you'll meet unique npcs you'll meet different characters enemies different layouts so every run is unique compared to the last obviously you'll see familiar faces familiar enemies you might even see sort of similar environments but the layout and stuff like that is usually varied as well as some of the other things you'll come across like one character has you doing like trials survival trials and stuff like that and there's another one where you meet this sort of like morgana seer woman as well so it gives you a reason to explore the maps and sort of check every environment as you progress through it now the game itself won't take you long like a run you can get through in about an hour now obviously it'll take you a while to build up unless you're really good at the combat and like roguelikes in general but for me i quite enjoyed it even though i i'm not the best at roguelikes i did die quite a few times and have to sort of restart I had a lot of fun playing it like the animations were super slick and the game felt amazing on a controller the environments and enemies and the character designs were all bright and colorful with nice big chunky black lines around them very cartoony looked fantastic the plot was interesting i liked the sort of way camelot had been transported and everything like that and you were sort of rebuilding it I loved the variety of abilities and I loved how you unlocked new ones and customised your sort of like loadout in terms of which fall and night you were going to sort of pick each time. All in all, I had a fantastic time playing this. Now, the, the runs are a lot easier than some of the other roguelikes. However, some of the bosses that you'll encounter are rather difficult. And there's like bosses at the end of each area and then like big bosses at the end of each run. But some of them, like I say, in, when I first started playing, I did the sort of forest level multiple times. And every single time I did it, I had a different enemy, like final boss. So at one point I had this like big mushroom thing that absolutely jumped up in the air and just like wrecked me. And then the next time I had a totally different enemy and I was able to sort of combat and avoid its attacks easier. So I was able to defeat that and move on, which was nice. And I also really like the city building aspects. Now, it's all a little light in terms of what's on offer there. It feels like they could really have gone into that more and added a lot more to it, fleshed it out more. But it does add a lot to the game for me. And for people who like roguelikes and you want like a, a more chilled session compared to some other roguelikes, you'll probably really enjoy this. For people coming in first time to roguelikes as well, I highly recommend checking it out because it's really really fun now the game is obviously playable on xbox series x and s consoles and it's priced at 16.99 on xbox it's also available on steam and other platforms as well but if you want a fun little game where you have great interesting characters awesome enemy designs really enjoyable upgrade system like where you can not only like upgrade your character's abilities but your weapon abilities as well check this one out like i was honestly really blown away by the whole plot premise and just presentation that was on offer here but that's up for this video guys hope you've enjoyed it here if you have hit that like button hit subscribe and we'll see you soon for more content <laughs> bye for now